Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're going to take a look at another Syndicate mod. This one you have to be level 4 inside the Syndicate to get. That is quite a win. Oh, you can do what I've done and I traded Jetstream for it. Which is the Zephyr mod. Which was actually one I had. I will replace it later because it was mine. But And we're going to look at this one. Entropy Strike. Um... It's for the Balto. Um, I probably had the same thinking about this that other people had, and it would go on to the AKs, not the Syndicate AKs, the normal AKs, and it doesn't. That was a huge, huge disappointment for this mod. It was the first thing we did. I really need to come back and take another look at some of these weapons, to be honest. I mean, it doesn't even have a catalyst in it. It's never been formatted. So we literally, we came in, we checked all the E's, because I couldn't remember what polarity it is. It's a dash, and it should fit right there. And it's not there. So, there it is. It adds entropy to this weapon, which is... It basically deals an area of effective magnetic damage when you fill the little bar up that pops up ne next to your ammo on the bottom right. As well as restoring 25% of your power, and it also boosts the max power you can hold by 25% for 30 seconds so as well as its chance to explode rounds that is a ridiculously useful mod it's just a damn shame you can't put it on the AK Balto huge shame can understand why they've done it but it's just a damn shame because the Balto and the AK Balto are basically the same weapon there's just two of them so because that did magnetic damage, we went against the corpus with it and we took magnetic damage. Because it has a deep polarity on this weapon anyway. And then it's basically just damage and multi-shot. That was it. Mainly because I've never formatted this weapon either. <laughs> it seems that most of the mods that come out are for weapons that people forgot about a long time ago. But it is bringing those weapons up to date by adding effects like exploding rounds. So these mods are... They're actually a lot better looking than I first thought they were. Even though it has... Well, let's... Let's not beat around the bush yet. It's a single bolt tool. It's... Not that good of a weapon. It was when you first start the game. Then, not so much. Um, this kind of brings it up to date. And gives you a sneak peek at what the, the next... I forgot who it is. The Orbiters of Nexus. Their uh, clan weapon. Clan. Their syndicate weapon. Because <laughs> it pretty much... Well, it's not the same. It doesn't do the blast damage. I still think it's a damn shame that the this mod cannot be fitted to the AK Baltos. The standard ones. You can understand why they've done it. Because the... If they did it, then you could probably fit them to the other syndicate weapon. And... That would make that Syndicate weapon insanely powerful with two Syndicate effects on it. So it's just not available for the Baltos at all. And wow, I cannot hit you. That's Magnum Force coming into play. Boom. There's the area of effect kicking in. As this guy tries to kill us. And almost succeeds in killing us. Jeez. But it has made this weapon a lot more powerful. I think I'm going to... I'm not sure about former in it though. Just because... It's a lot of work for a weapon that's honestly I'm not going to be using that much. Because I've got the AK bolt on and that was much better than this thing. Which is... Basically what we did, we had the single one, we used it for a long time, then we got the dual wield one, because I like my dual wield weapons, and we used that until the twin vipers came out. Oh, crap. Yeah, I got another pistol here. That one, slightly more effective, though I can't help but notice it did about the same damage this thing does. But of course, it is a single fire weapon, so the explosions basically remind me a hell of a lot, god damn that thing in the water, of the the Paris. Oh, pop the head up. Ah. 
but it has made this weapon a lot, lot better than it was. I mean, it's actually pretty ridiculous how effective that blast is. I just think if they would allow us to put it on the AK Bolto, it would bring them weapons up to date. It would make them a lot more usable. The biggest problem is making it usable on that weapon, but not the Syndicate version of them. The Telos AKs. Oh, the barrier just disintegrated underneath us. <laughs> My aim sucks. So when it comes to ammo on this, it's pretty much not using that much of it because, well, their explosions are dealing a nice bit of damage. And then you've got the syndicate effect, which is empathy, which is the bar on the bottom right. And when that goes off, like that, it also does a nice bit of damage to people. Oh, crap. I did not see him. That could have gone horribly wrong. And this is a Tower 2, unfortunately, not a Tower 3. I was just running it because I was looking for a Void mission. And I meant to do a Tower 3, but once I got in here and noticed the guys were so low, I think I've started a Tower 2, so I'm going to stick with this is a Tower 2. Because I could be wrong. I do think it's a Tower 2 I've started instead of a 3. But it's doing this on a Tower 2, so it should be good on a Tower 3 as well. And, uh, as I say, it's a good mod. It is well worth it. It would be a lot more worth it if it worked on the AK Balto. Not the a the Syndicate version. That I'm sure it's Telos or something weird like that. Because if it, if it worked on them, then you would have two Syndicate effects. And I think that's why they've made it so it doesn't work on the AKs. The normal ones. Which you can understand, but at the same time... It kind of... The first weapon I went to put these on were the standard AKs. And when it wasn't there, I actually spent quite a while trying to figure out where the hell they were, make sure I actually had the mod after the trade, and... It was just disappointing that it's only for this single weapon. It would have been so much better on the AKs, though. I might have been a little bit overkill. Ah, damn. A little bit overkill on the AKs, but it would have made the AKs a lot more usable. It would have given people a taste of what the, the Syndicate weapons are actually like. Just in case they don't happen to be doing the Orbiters, which is weird because them two Syndicates are linked. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now while our person glitches out there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. That damn missed.